Good luck then. All right. Good luck. Take it up. I think, John, you may get the award for having the most colorful wires. Uh, <laughs> and most exposed. And, and so we're wondering if there was a strategy you chose for, uh, for this aesthetic. <laughs> no. <laughs> you start out trying to say, oh, I'm going to use green for sensors and red for... And then it just all goes down the toilet halfway through the project. Okay. In the future years where we make this a competition, then you'll want to cover those up. Head to head. Yeah, well, uh, also he may... Uh, so what you're saying is when you run out when you run out of green wires, then you just switch to whatever color is still in the box. Got it. All right. It does seem to be stained on the line, especially through, even through the uh, you're track, track, track. through the difficult. He's already gone through the most difficult part, so that's really quite excellent. Um, the one thing that I did fail to mention, um, and it, this may be uh, something he wanted wants to do for a second round, that. There is not anything in the rules that says which direction you need to go. So you may go the other way if you choose. So maybe that would be a faster route. Um, but uh, just for those who haven't tested, it's the same one. <laughs> All right, we are coming up. And, and there we have it. Oh, that was a good right. run. One lap. Oh, no, you're going to do two laps? No, one lap, one lap in advance. One yeah. The time is 82.32. No matter what, you have to calibrate these things so you can use light that's actually there at the time. All right, now we're starting. We've crossed the starting line. And hang in there. Oh, yep, everybody Okay, unfortunately, reversing course is considered do not finish. And Mike, we are ready to go. Ready. Presses the start button and steps clear. Sure about this from the no, I, went, I went back to my original settings. Sometimes they shave off some of the wood. Just to oh, oh, oh. Oh. These corners, you know, people on the estimate how difficult it is to do. Yeah, I didn't have to some of those angles. They are very sharp. Yeah. Yeah. It's like driving in the North Georgia Mountains here. I mean, it's almost impossible. Okay. All right, we're looking forward to another tweet from Mike, and uh, that you... Is yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and Dominic. Hey, tell us about your robot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Arduino. Uh, operated the uh, same uh, rhythm and same speed symbol. So far, so good. Oh! And you fixed it with the... <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 All right. Oh, good That's start. Let's see. Oh, all right, here. Handle it all over. Oh, 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 Crosses the crossing well and up to the first hard corner. Easily makes the first hard corner. Oh, first. All right, Dale. Timer is ready when you are, sir. So, Polymax 9000 has done very well in the past. What changes are this year available? I see there's a green LED this year that I didn't see before. Um, there's probably some other changes as well. Alright, so our time, 12.00. One of the things that will become evident later is, uh, about Ted's robot that's pretty cool in my mind, is that when he does line following, it goes in the direction you're about to see. But when he does bulldozer event, it goes in the opposite direction, it's forward. So, forward is an arbitrary thing for Ted. Um, <laughs> Here's an engineering term for having your front associated with the back 